hi guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video uh, I'm just going to play with makeup it's been a while since I've had like a full face of makeup and I've worn foundation and eyeliner and everything and today I had this sudden urge to just play with makeup so that is exactly what I'm going to do it I haven't planned a look or anything I'm just going to go with the flow uh, because I have some new makeup but before that I'm going to show you what I received in this month's swaggy nude box now this month's swaggy nude box was very cute because the kid was very very creative so he's first made these clouds and then there's this um, grass and then there's lotus lotus and i'm guessing this is water and then there's one design here and then there's one design here so cute it's really cute so uh, this is their special edition box which you will get only this month and there are five uh, full size of products and two sheets sheet masks which are worth 2800 and you have to pay only 899 for this box so as usual you get a card with a cute message and you know the fact that this these boxes have been painted by uh, little kids and you get a uh, list of all the products and their prices so let's just quickly see what we got in this box so the first thing is this kangra green tea green princess it's organic green tea uh the one that i previously have that is the one i used in uh, my ink nut uh, video so this really comes handy when you have to use some diy Next is this almond powder face cleanser. Oh, almond powder face cleanser. I think it's like a face wash. I'm definitely going to try it and let you guys know how this works. Okay, so this is the next product. After that, I have this Bonsole rose water. Next is the Saffron Radiance Face Cream. Looks something like this. And the last product is Illuminate. Illumi something is wrong with me. Illuminate Clarifying Eye Gel. I'll use this in today's video. And then I have two sheet masks. One is Snail. Snail extract for fast vitality from damaged skin. It's this and I'm kind of excited and nervous to use this. And the next one is Mung Bean Sheet Mask from the face shop. Yeah, so that's it. That's everything that I received in my um, Swaggy Nool box this month. You can uh, find the links in the description box if you are interested. And like I said, all of these boxes are hand painted by kids and a part of this always goes for their education. So I think it's really nice. You get skincare and you can help a little child. Okay, so let's begin with the makeup. And for skin prep, I'm going to use this uh, Good Vibes Cucumber Glow Toner. I use the Rose Toner a lot, but because my skin is really dry, I like using uh, the cucumber one. I'm just going to let that dry and get absorbed into my face and then be back. Okay, next, so to my moisturize, again, my moisturize my face, I'm going to use this um, Dove Moisturizer. It is good, it gets easily absorbed, it doesn't leave your skin uh, oily, so that's why I like using this. So want to try this eye gel so I'm just going to use a little bit of that under my eyes and my eyelids because my eyelids can get very 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 dry
So my skin is nicely prepped, it feels really moisturized and supple. Now I'm not a very big fan of primers from a very long time but um, because I feel like if you prep your skin really well that is more than enough but if you have oily skin and an extremely oily t-zone then the primer that I would suggest you is the color bar uh, perfect match primer. This is one of my favorite primers it's really good for people with oily skin and uh, large pores it is silicone based and it works really well so just to show you guys how this makes your skin i'm just going to use it on my nose it instantly mattifies your nose and um, you know your your t-zone will not oil as much so i'm just going to use this See, as you can see it doesn't dry out your skin but it fills in the pores and it mattifies it uh, you know just the right amount so after this I'm just gonna go in with a BB cream I'm not uh, using foundation much I find it feels heavy on my skin nowadays I don't know what the reason is but I've been enjoying BB cream so I'm gonna use this take quirky BB cream uh, does it have a shade in the shade rum and these are very affordable and very light but make sure to shake it well before you use my top is from Shein it's a crop top I just recently started purchasing stuffs from Shein because a lot of you uh, girls have asked me on tips of how to buy on Shein so I'm just like buying stuffs and gaining experience and once I feel like I know it enough I'm gonna make a video on it but I think Shein is very um, it's very straight you basically pay for quality if you're going to buy a top which is 200 300 the quality is going to be compromised and if you buy a top which is 600 700 of course the quality is going to be good so that is one thing i've realized in shein you just pay for quality My mirror is from Miniso. Now as you can see the consistency of this product is quite runny and it almost feels like skin. This is not going to cover your uh, dark spots but all it's going to do is uh, even out your skin tone so it's perfect for uh, every day. Like if you're going for college and if you're going for office it, it'll almost look like you're not wearing anything on your skin but it'll still even out your skin tone as you can see. This has evened out my skin tone pretty well and it looks uh, really uh, natural but make sure you're given enough time for it to sink in. The next pod product, now the next product I've not tried, this is the Stay Quirky Badass um, Conceal, Concealer Correct concealer corrector palette you get two correctors and one concealer now i've never used this this is the first time i'm going to use it so let's see how it will work you also get like a small brush with it that i'm not going to use i'm just going to use this concealer now with concealers i like uh, something that looks like my skin i don't like really light and really bright concealer i don't want to highlight my under eye i just want to conceal it so that's why i like using concealers that are uh, very close to my skin Now this concealer is quite on the tacky side, it's very sticky so this will work great as a eye primer too but make sure you set it. Now this will be perfect for oily uh, skin type girls 
because it is quite thick and creamy in consistency but if you have dry skin make sure you really moisturize this otherwise it can make your under eyes look dry i did have to switch it in with a brush because uh, with my fingers it wasn't blending as well with brush it really made the blending quite easy so keep that in mind and if you have dry skin then make sure you moisturize your uh, under eye really well um, that is why i used the gel because whenever i'm trying a new concealer i like using uh, something under my eyes so that it is hydrated that way the concealer works better now just to set my under eyes i'm going to use this lakme 9 to 5 flawless matte complexion compact i really like this compact it's very very finely milled and it gives you a very nice matte finish Now for my eyes, I just want something in the crease, so I'm going to use this Mion Cheek and Contour Palette. Again, this is new, I haven't used this. Uh, now Mion is really stepping up their game with makeup. Again with Mion, it's the same thing, you pay for quality. So if you want like good quality makeup, you just pay that much price. I think this is like $4.99, yeah it's $4.99, so you have nice uh, collection of shades you have something for every skin tone so here i'm just going to use this shade in my crease to just give it some depth so for blending it i'm going to use this pack 204 blending brush i really like this it's really nice it's quite pigmented as you can see I've just applied the brown shade in my crease the powders were really easy to blend now i don't usually do my brows but i'll show you how you can use one palette for multiple um multiple things so i'm just going to use this um darker shade as my um eyebrow powder now usually we indian girls have like really dark brows but do not use black because it's going to look too harsh go in with something really dark like a dark gray or a dark brown i usually go for a dark brown it really suits my skin tone so that's exactly what i'm doing Now right now it looks a little dark but once the entire makeup is done it will uh, all look put together. So this also has a highlight shade which I'm going to use under my brows. I'm just using a flat brush. This was a set of brushes that I bought from Amazon. If I do find it uh, I will leave the link in the description box but I'm just going to use the highlight shade under my brows. Now for my eyeliner, I love, love, love using browns because I feel like it looks really subtle and it still gives your eyes that definition. So all I'm going to do is take this color bar uh, kajal in the shade Coco Bar 02 and I'm just going to put it on the outer corner and tight line my eyes.
when it comes to makeup i really enjoy subtlety i like uh, things that are subtle but still define your uh, natural features and that's exactly what i like to do with my eyeliner nowadays i don't like using a very harsh eyeliner unless it's like a special occasion and i want to go all out with my makeup i just like using something really subtle and then blending it with my fingers as you can see it almost looks like i'm wearing something but you can't tell what i'm wearing so next i'm just going to curl my uh, lashes and use this purple my helping hand curl extender lash mascara i really like this i've been enjoying this a lot it separates your lashes it lengthens in lengthens it and it just gives your lashes the right amount of um thickness i don't like lashes that look clumpy and spidery but i like them to look very natural and uh, almost look like those are your natural lashes Now I like leaving my under eye bare and not putting any kind of eye shadow or even mascara. Next, moving on to blush, I'm going to use this Mion Sweet Arts blush. It has the most cutest packaging. It almost is like those Too Faced uh, blushes, and this definitely is. It has glitter in it, so this will also work really well as a highlighter. I've not used it. I've just swatched it. I just always have so much problem opening packages. Yeah, so this is how it looks. If you want, you can use these shades separately or use them all together. But I'm going to use everything together, and for that, I'm going to use this brush from Miniso, and I'm just going to swirl it in the packaging, dust off the excess, and. I'm going to pull it upwards so that it gives me that highlighted effect as well. Lipstick, I am going to try these new uh, Mion Superstay uh, matte lipsticks. Now, I've already swatched them, so I know how they are. They are extremely, extremely creamy and matte at the same time. Uh, I will just show you one shade. The shade is Berry Smooch, and you just twist it. And as you can see, these are extremely pigmented, very creamy, and they are matte. Like again, I'm barely touching it, and you see this. It's really, really nice. So I'm just going to use something dark because during the cold weathers, I really enjoy a dark lip shade. I think I'm going to go with Superstay Wine. I have Berry Smooch, Red Wine, which is a nice deep wine shade. I have a fuchsia, which is a nice pink shade. I have rich red, which is a bright red, and then I have a glam red, which is a little more on the deeper side. So these are really nice, and they're plus very affordable. But before that, just to line my lips, I'm going to use this NK Makeup Auto Lip Liner. This is a red liner. Now I like using a red lip liner for my really darker shades it really uh, i feel like it just gives you a very nice um you know color payoff once your lipstick has you know faded it gives you a nice base so that's why i like using uh, red shades for my darker lipsticks
I really like the lipsticks. And lastly, to set my face, I'm going to use this Pack Micro Finish Makeup Fixer. It's very hydrating, but it also keeps your makeup. Uh, I mean, it makes your makeup last for a very long time. So I'm just going to use this. And I also like how it sprays. It's just so even and nice. This lipstick actually dried down to complete matte. It's like it's crazy because while applying it feels very creamy and it's completely turned matte now. I really like these lipsticks. I think for the price you pay, it's, these are really good. So that's it for today's makeup, guys. I kind of enjoyed uh, using makeup after a long time, and as you can see, my skin looks nice and glowy and this is how i like my makeup i do not like really heavy uh, eyeshadows until it's you know special occasion even if it's a special occasion i like keeping my eyes neat because i feel like when whenever i wear too many eyeshadows and mascara and eyelashes it makes my eyes really heavy and i don't uh, feel comfortable so this is what i really like and trying out these new products was nice so i will leave the links to everything in the description box you can check it out and um, I will meet you guys in my next video. Until then, bye!